Hey guys, welcome to Toy Chat. This is Max. Adam. And Say. And today we are reviewing the Collector's Edition Abby Bominable, the newest release from Monster High. So, as with the previous Collector Dolls, um, this is a special edition deluxe doll from Monster High. This Abby is currently available on Mattel Shop, mattelshop.com, uh, but she will eventually be available on Amazon as well. From the sound of it, she may end up being an online exclusive. Uh, that's been the case with most of them in the U.S. anyway. Um, so her packaging is very pretty, actually. It's very cute packaging. It's in like a nice slim cardboard sleeve box with some nice icy snowy design down the sides. And there's a little snowflake with her name in the upper left. And you can see a cute little Aurora Borealis looking background with multicolored sky backdrop, it's like pinks and purples and the moon, it's very pretty, I really like it. There's a cute little cardboard snowman in the bottom left, and it says adult collector at the <laughs> bottom, because it's for adults. This is not for kids. Yeah. There's the sides, there's a little Yeti footprints, very cute, that's more of a Bigfoot vibe. Um, the back of the box is cute, it's, you know, nothing too complicated, but I really like the artwork. Yeah, and there is a little bit of a blurb on the left. Um, just a kind of a general blurb about Abby um, and her, you know, playing in her snowy homeland. And that pretty much does it for the packaging. So we will go ahead and open her up so you guys can see her. All right, here is collector's edition Abby Bominable out of box. She has an enormous pearly white woolly mammoth headpiece on her head. He's like dripping like icicles. Yeah, he's so cute. And there's a little bone going across it. Her hair is a fabulous collection of colors and shapes. Um, her fringe is all in this pink, blue, and black striped coordination, which I think, yeah. She, she pins her fringe back with the woolly mammoth clip and it comes out crimped and it has some uh, sparkly strands in it. It looks really cute. A little bit of tinsel, yeah. I, it's like a it just thin... doesn't really remind me of tinsel. Yeah, it's it's okay. very, very little too. It's very subtle, like a very small amount. Well, you know how Abby kind of had shiny strands that weren't actually tinsel? The main body of her hair is her classic white shiny hair with a lot of purple highlights throughout yes. it, which is very pretty. Okay. It's very shiny. And she also has some light blue kind of spark sprinkled in there. And then for her makeup, she has these kind of drippy looking gray blue uh, eyebrows, which are pretty cute. And for her makeup, she's got a big stripe of blue eyeshadow on the top of her lids, and then she has this whole huge bandit mask of magenta mm. pink across her face. I don't know why Monster High keeps doing this. Like, remember when they did that with Haunted, yeah. Rochelle's boyfriend? Yeah. Garot. <laughs> yeah. That, I was just like, why? But yeah, it's a little bit weird. Whatever. Mm -hmm. And then underneath her eyes, she has these cool purple dots laying the bottom of her eyes, and then a couple of like tribal looking blue tear mark shapes under her eyes on her cheeks, which also go also go over her uh, blush. So she's got all kinds of colors going on. Mm -hmm. Her lipstick's actually pretty normal. <laughs> it's just like kind of a regular pink. It is, but I really love it. It's like, it, it's pops, shiny. it pops to me. It's like a shiny pearly pink. I love her lips. Uh, for her outfit, she has this blue dress with several tiers of black fur lining through it in this zigzag pattern. The dress itself, I can't really tell what's going on. It Are those like, like bones? Or bones? Oh, bones. it kind of is, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to see, but on top of the dark blue, there's like this deep pink sparkle stuff going on on top of it. And I think it's supposed to look like um, leopard print, but mm -hmm. I think it's still made out of bones. So mm -hmm. it's pretty cute and subtle detailing. Mm -hmm. um, she has a big old black shawl that is not connected to the dress, so you could take that off if you wanted. Separate piece. Um, and she has a big blocky necklace of pink rocks. Not quite as, you know, 
crazy translucent glittery as the promos, but actually still pretty nice in person. It's better than some of what they could have done. You know, yeah, it could have been a solid pieces. color. Pink. Yeah, it has a little bit of. I feel like it's like slightly translucent. Yeah, it, yeah it's, it's a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. faux fur all over her that is incredibly soft, mm -hmm. lighting all throughout the outfit. And yeah, what I like about it, I like that it has at least it appears to be like a mixture of both like that charcoal black and gray and I love that there's like that mixture it's very nice heading downstairs we see her shoes but my favorite part here is actually her big old leg, leg warmers love those tied around with elastic it's mm -hmm. very abby and we love it like if you squint your eyes she kind of looks like a blobby fluffy black mess but <laughs> if you look at it in clear definition it's very cute yeah. um she's got these uh, snow hiking boots that are like bright pink. The, the oh my gosh, the heels! Right, yeah. The heel is like a woolly mammoth encased in ice. It's so cute. Oh my god! At first, I was yeah. gonna be like, uh, it doesn't look that impressive. It's just like this yeah. clear piece of plastic. Like, oh, there's a mammoth inside He's there. He's frozen. Yeah, I love that. That's adorable. That's super cute. Monster High is trying so hard with shoes lately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love her shoes. Love the faux fur and the woolly mammoth. And you guys. <laughs> Gasp! <laughs> you see this? Do you see this relic right here from <laughs> like way back? In this is the main attraction here. <laughs> 2009 or no, when did they start? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, oh my goodness, this Abbey comes with a stand. <laughs> and not only is it a yeah. stand, it's a stand made for Abby. Yeah, it's like a custom stand. It's like a translucent, like light glittery compound, like pearly white. It's a really pretty stand. And it's, it's got all that like fractaled ice design on it. It's I just awesome. I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself having a doll for the first time in a thousand years that I can actually <laughs> prop up with a stand. <laughs> what a concept. Yeah. So thanks, adult collector line. We appreciate it. That's where we get our stands. So from. far I've been keeping yeah. mine in the box, but yeah. it's really cool anyway. Yes, easier to stay loyal to this line. Abby also comes with her super cute woolly mammoth pet, Shiver, mm -hmm. uh, who is, he's identical to, you know, his first release. I'm really yeah. excited that they just kind of re-released mm -hmm. him, because I never had Shiver. So. Yeah, yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have gotten him unless you had original Wave 1 Abby otherwise. So, yeah, definitely appreciate this. Gives other people an opportunity to get him. He's one of the cutest pets, in my opinion, so. Yeah, so cute. And another blast from the past, she comes with a diary. Mm -hmm. His diary belongs to me. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy because it's like one of the legit ones that comes with like, you know, full pages of writing. You know, and it's all in English. Little story. It's all... Yeah, it's all in English. So crazy. It's been a minute since we've seen, you know. I wonder what made them come back to this at all. It's like I don't know, the, it's the collector. Yeah, the adult Galita collector kind of situation. Galita, I think she has one. I feel like they, I feel, think all the collectors, all the collectors' okay. dolls had. Yeah, like I said, diaries, I, I didn't yeah. open mine. So. Yeah, but that's so cool. Yeah, it's cool. Diaries are back at least for adult collector releases. All right, and these are our final thoughts on collector's edition Abby Abominable. <laughs> uh, one thing, one thing we didn't mention. So yeah, so real quick, this Abby, um, she has the same body mold as like, you know, the recent budget dolls like Venus and all them where the joints are slightly odd looking and you can't actually remove any of the limbs. And she does, from the looks of it, have like a pretty unique hand mold. Um, the thing is they're less claw looking than usual, but I really like the pose there and it's a very cute, like delicate pose. Another big issue is probably my biggest complaint about this doll. I'm really annoyed that this Abby does not have any body glitter on her at all. That was like by far to me one of, you know, she has some slight like speckles compound on her face a little bit, but like, I don't know, can't, you can't even see it. Yeah, and it, to me that was one of the most amazing, like striking things about Abby. It's one of the reasons why she was like my favorite character originally. Her dolls were just so striking, you know, especially seeing it on like her legs. and. I can see from a budgetary reason not doing it on regular releases, but for the adult collector release, you'd think they, oh, let's, you know, yeah. bring back the glitter. 
they did not have an excuse to not do it for this release, so I'm definitely annoyed about that. You know, we also discussed in our previous Collector's Corner video that there were some slight changes between her original promo pictures and the final version. Um, it's nothing horrendously radical in my opinion. I mean, they, they gave her kind of a softer look with the eyebrows and everything, and yeah, you know, like we said, the necklace is different, a couple other things, but even though that is a bummer, I would say across the board, this doll is really pretty in person. Um, I would definitely recommend her if you're a Monster High collector. I think she's great for adult collectors. She's good to keep in box or take out. And again, yeah, we applaud Monster High for continuing the adult collector, you know, like deluxe line. It makes We will it... continue to buy them. Yes. <laughs> it keeps, uh, I think, more, you know, like apprehensive fans interested. Um, but hopefully they just can keep up to the standard that the adult collectors have. How much does it cost? 30. Yes, she's priced at $29.99. Totally reasonable. Mm -hmm. I would get it. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> reasonably priced for something that's $30 in a collector's doll. Um, so I think, like, Draculaura was, like, $50. She was. Yeah, and she, I think I think Abby's a lot more um, detailed than uh, Skeleto was. And, um, yeah, definitely, it's... It's kind of like a throwback to like original Monster High. I think even the packaging reminds me a bit of like the original like Monster High packaging, where it's more you know paper than plastic, and you can keep the doll inside the packaging if you want. You know attention to detail um, that went into this release, and I appreciate that. I can't imagine you getting these in store. So if you want them, go ahead and you know pre-order on Amazon or it's available at you know the Mattel website, because um, I know, like, for example, the last collector doll, Lady Gaga sold out really fast, and she's no longer She might be, like, retired now. Oh, yeah, she's Yeah, she's I can't even, gone. yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, I mean, if you want to get her, I would consider, you know, it, and I mean, we all, like, all three of us got her. She's lovely. I love her so much. Um, definitely a display doll. And play, you can play with it, too. I love her hair, like, yeah, it's crimped very nicely. Yeah, crimped hair is usually a disaster out of the box, but this Abby, yeah, it looks actually pretty nice. She has so many colors, like, you don't see that too often. This has been our review of Adult Collector's Abby Bombable. Be sure to let like. us know what you guys think of her in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. And let us know what you'd like to see reviewed next on our channel. And we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.